Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I have got a very exciting pattern release, a new itch to stitch pattern to share with you um, and I can't wait to get into that uh, today. Okay, let's get into the newest itch to stitch pattern, the Belleville Jeans. Um, and I clearly didn't make mine out of denim, but it, there's recommendations for other fabrics. And I decided to go rogue um, and try a heavyweight linen, but we'll talk about that in a second. All right, so Kenneth had posted this in the testing group. Um, there's a Facebook testing group for itch to stitch patterns. Um, some inspiration photos, she does that quite frequently on what we think and all that kind of stuff. And she had posted a pair of barrel leg jeans and asking everyone what they thought. And of course there's a mixed bag because, um, you know, it's a different leg style. Um, so the barrel leg jean fitted through the waist and hips, and then it kind of gets wider at the thigh and then goes back into kind of a tapered um, cuff or tapered bottom of the, the pant and ends above the knee. I have a pair of pants like this from Madewell. Um, they were my black jeans that I wore them uh, last winter. I think I got them maybe around Christmas time last winter, um, somewhere in that vicinity. Wear them a ton. Like they are um, great. They're kind of an off black, so they aren't like black black. Um, but that is, they, they are a Barrel Lake jean if, if you recall those jeans on me. Anyway, when she had said that she was looking at doing a um, pattern of these, I was like, yes, let's do that. I'm all about trying the different um, leg widths that are becoming so popular right now. Um, these are ready to wear that I've got on today, but they've got the huge cuff that's like part of the jean, like it's tacked up. Um, anyway, I'm just, I love trying the different leg styles. It's one of my favorites. Um, one way that I like to try and, and try things out and keep kind of fresh and current and, um, and I play around a lot with my lower half because I am so straight through my hips. It's kind of fun to add volume, um, to help balance out my bust. <laughs> that is, uh, where I usually have to do a lot of work to keep my figure in balance, um, is doing things wider on the bottom to help balance out my, um, chest. Anyway, totally on board and was very excited. Honestly, did I have time to test this pattern? Not really. <laughs> I, it was a uh, struggle to get this in and I had to work some weekends there. Um, but I just really wanted to test this pattern because, again, I was just very excited about it and wanted to make up um, a pair of my own. So let's talk about the pattern real quick and then I'll talk about the fabric. It was all it just came together in um, a wonderful way. Uh, to make these pair of pants happen. But the pattern, like I said, it's a jean pattern. So five pockets, you know, it's got the little coin pocket, the regular um, front pockets. Um, and then I, I didn't put this on the mannequin because um, obviously I wanna be able to take them off and it's hard to see things on the mannequin when it's pants. Anyway, it's got the two pockets in the back. Um, so it's very much your jean construction, belt loops, um, zip fly. I mean, it's all very much, you know, standard waistband. Um, you know, meant to be more of a jean pattern. But to get the really cool shape of the barrel legs, there actually is a dart at the knee, um, both at the front and the back, um, from the inseam to the knee. And then there's a dart in the front at the, from the, um, from the hem of the jean up a little bit to make that front come in. And it just adds, gives you some volume and then it comes in. I just find it dramatic and really, really cool. Um, and I'm definitely going to make a pair in denim. Um, I just, yeah, I, and we'll talk about why I didn't for this pair, but, um, I'll definitely be making a pair in denim. I just think that these are so cool. So I made a size eight, a straight size eight. I thought about grading up to a 10 at the waist, um, and then decided not to, um, uh, because I probably should have, but, um, I did it because this is a linen blend. And I knew that as I wore it, even with the twill tapes and stuff that I put in there, um, it tends to, it relaxes because this is just a, a looser weave of fabric than a denim would be. Um, so I knew that I didn't want it to grow too much and then have a hard time keeping my pants up. And this has turned out absolutely perfectly. I'm so glad I went with the straight size eight and I'm also working out right now. So, um, in the past, I'm usually a straight size eight with love notion or which with it's just stitch all the way. Um, I've just <laughs> been a little on the, um, inflamed side recently. Um, anyway, but I'm sure that that will even out here soon and I'll be back to, to normal. Um, I definitely ebb and flow that way. So I'm glad I went with the straight size eight. I, I do feel like that these fit me really well. The only adjustment that I made to these was I shortened the leg by one inch. Um, I probably could have gotten away with shortening them two inches at the leg. Um, I didn't need to do anything at the crotch level. This was all within the leg level. Um, 
and maybe broken that up, like thigh and calf. Because uh, I did end up doing a two-inch hem at the bottom, um, and the pattern calls for just a one-inch hem. But um, I, I liked the where I, I played. I didn't want to take too much away and then regret it. <laughs> so I, I just did the um, one inch. And honestly, after I've washed and dried these a couple of times, I may let the hem back out to just one inch because um, I hate when my pants get too short. Like I want them to hit at a specific point. So anyway, I just I top stitch the hem. I can go back. I can let that down if I need to, if these do shrink up a little bit more in the wash. So, um, you know, not too big of a deal. But that's the only adjustment that I made to these pants. Other than that, it's a straight size eight. Okay, fabric. So the pattern calls for non-stretch um, bottom weight wovens. So you could do, and I think it even says in there, heavyweight linen, um, denims, obviously cotton twills, anything with some structure because you do want some stuff with a little bit of structure to hold that shape of the leg. You know, that's the whole wow factor of these pants. Um, and as I was reading through there, and Kenneth had said she was going to make a pair in a heavyweight linen um, after she had made her denim pair. And I thought, you know what? Maybe I want to do a linen instead of denim, just because we are kind of coming out of jeans weather, kind of. Um, I could see myself wearing linen pants now in the spring and then, or as we're getting into the spring, and then into the summer, um, you know, like with a tank top or something. So I decided to go with the heavyweight linen. And I was kind of going, I've got some heavyweight linens in my stash. But then my So Haley Jane box for March arrived. And it's a linen, a linen blend, actually, I think. I think there's a little rayon in there, too. I could be wrong, but I think there is. Um, I'd have to go back and look. Um, but the color was so good. And I've just been all about color blocking lately. Um, and the pattern that came with the So Haley Jane box was also a trouser pattern, the new Tilly and the Buttons, actually. Um, but I thought, you know what? I'm just going to use this to make these test pants. It's, I mean, it came right at the perfect time. I had just cut out the pattern and done, you know, shortened the legs on it, ready to cut it out of fabric. And I'm like, I'm going to use this um, instead of something in my stash. And I am obsessed with these. Now, technically, this is a little cooler green than what is in my color palette. Um, it's close because it's a clear color, probably more of a winter color than a spring color, but it goes so well on the bottom half with all of my different tops. March has been, um, Katie Cortman's, Katie Cortman's, we have Katie Cortman art on Instagram. If you follow me over there, she's been doing the whole month of, uh, March has been a uh, wear happy color and she has a different challenge each week. So like the first week was monochromatic and you're supposed to put together a monochromatic look. And then it was analogous where you're putting together analogous look and then um, complementary. So you were doing colors that were complementary. Technically, this is analogous because it's yellow and green. So they're next to each other on the color chart. If I were wearing a um, red or pink top with this, then it would be complementary because they're opposite each other on the color chart. Anyway, I've been having a lot of fun with that. So I've been um, having a lot of fun with some color blocking. These are absolutely open up everything uh, when it comes to color blocking. In fact, you'll see, and I'm sure you've seen already, um, I paired these together, warm to church. I have these earrings that kind of bring in that same color um, back up to my face a little bit. Very pleased with this outfit. <laughs> I had my, my uh, mustard, my kind of yellow bag I got in Italy um, with me. I just felt very put together um, as I was wearing this. Anyway, totally up my alley. Very excited to pair this with some orange, um, with some other shades of green to keep it a little more um, uh, mono, um, I keep wanting to say monotone, that is not right. <laughs> more monochromatic, um, you know, trying with some analogous colors, you know, like this, complimentary, putting with orange, oh yeah. Anyway, <laughs> very much looking forward to styling these a little bit more in the future and glad that I went with this pattern. Okay, trying to keep my mannequin here. So, um, I also, this, the secondary fabric that was in the So Haley Jane box was meant to be like for pockets and, um, bias and all that kind of stuff on the inside. And so that is what I did. I used the complementary fabric for my pockets. That is the other great thing about this pattern. She has the pockets going all the way to the fly. So they help suck in your tummy. Once you zip them up, that pocket helps secure things in as well, smooth things out a little bit, which I love a good pocket stay in the front of pants. I just think it's 
just adds a, just a little bit more. So I've got this beautiful satin that I used um, with the right side of the fabric out. So I used the right side as the wrong side so that when the pants were on, you could see the right side of the fabric. And then this is, um, kind of creamy white bias, um, satin bias tape was also in the So Haley Jane box. So I actually finished off my waistband with that instead of tucking it under like you would normally do for a pair of jeans. And I just think it just came together so nicely. I mean, the guts are so nice and pretty. Um, and then I just used a navy blue uh, nylon coil zipper for my uh, zipper because I find if I'm not using something as heavy as like a denim, I don't need like a metal zipper. I can just use a nylon zipper and this works just fine um, for this little bit lighter weight fabric. It's just, this pattern is so good. Um, also with all itch to stitch patterns, her instructions are just wonderful. Um, the drafting is just done really beautifully. Uh, I, that's some of the things that I really love about itch to stitch other than they just fit me really well, literally right out of the packet. I just have to shorten a couple of places and I am good to go. Uh, so yes, Will I be making these in denim? Absolutely. I may wait until the fall to do that because like I said, I think my jean situation um, is probably good for now. I have this lighter weight color of denim that I'll be wearing this spring. And then I've got my um, kind of creamy colored denim that I'll be wearing through the spring. Um, my other denim I'll probably put away for now um, just because it's darker and I'm wearing brighter colors right now. So I'll probably put that away until um, fall. But um, yeah, I would love to make a pair in um, maybe a darker denim. I don't know, for fall. Um, we could also play around with some distressing maybe um, with the ones that I make in the fall. So back on the jean making band bandwagon and absolutely love this. So um, as of right now, the pattern is on sale. It's always on sale the first week of release. So you'll want to go um, have a look. And um, if this is of interest to you because you want to grab it while it's on the release sale, and I do have an affiliate link uh, down below. Um, I just get a small commission when you use that link when you purchase the pattern. Ooh. And I've got hair all over the place. Anyway, um, but that is listed down below as well. Um, I also have a code if you're interested in the So Haley Jane box. The cutoff for um, April has already happened. Uh, but if you sign up now, you can... Um, get the March or March, get the May box. So um, anyway, I do have a 10% off your first box code. Um, Tomcat 10 gets you 10% off your first box. So that is definitely something you want to look into. It's just a lot of fun to receive those every single month. Um, and this fabric did come in her luxury box for March. So um, that box is coming gone, but yeah, a great thing. It's just a lot of fun to get a little something surprise in the mail once a month. And usually uh, I get mine. So she sends them off by the 8th. So for instance, the April box, she'll have sent those off by the 8th of April. And mine usually arrives, because um, she's in the UK, mine usually arrives somewhere between the 12th and the 15th um, by the time it gets to me. So it's not too much longer that um, I get that box, that month's box. So a lot of fun. <laughs> all right, guys, that is all I have for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this new pattern release. Um, I just, uh, I sewed this last weekend and it was just a really nice, um, I don't know, it just felt good. It felt good to be back at my sewing machine and um, just to be working on a project. I turned a movie on and just went after it. And um, yeah, I love making jeans and pants and that sort of thing. So it was a very fun project for me. Um, and again, if it's your first time making pants or jeans, she does have fantastic instructions and really holds your hand through those. All right, that's all I've got for today. Have a great weekend. I hope you get some sewing in and I will uh, see you guys next time. Bye.